Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sharing with you guys another fall inspired video and that is going to be ways to style and wear your blanket scarves or really any kind of scarf. In one of my recent videos, my top 15 fall must-haves, I asked you guys if you would be interested in a scarf styling video and a lot of you commented that you would be interested. So that's what I thought I would share with you guys today. I'm going to be sharing a bunch of ways to tie your scarves, different kinds like this one and another one that I have, as well as three different outfit ideas to wear with the scarves. If you are new here to my channel, hi my name is Karen and I make fashion beauty and lifestyle videos so definitely consider hitting subscribe below and you could give this video a like if you thought it was helpful and you enjoy these types of how-to videos and I can share more so you guys don't have to let me know which way to style a scarf is your favorite write that in the comment section below and let's get started maybe I'm a bird following the seasons this is what I've learned with the blanket scarf so a blanket scarf is technically like a complete um, square that's like the usual way most blanket scarves are so they're just an exact square I have seen more like a rectangular shape and I'm gonna share with you guys different ways to style a different style scarf as well in this video but we're gonna start off with the traditional blanket scarf so I found this one from Amazon. It comes in a ton of colors and I just got it. So I'll have it linked, all, everything linked below, all my outfit details, everything like that. But to start off the first way to style the scarf, I suggest taking the first corner here and then the opposite corner and that will make like a triangle. So now it should end up like this in your triangle, pointing downward. And so you're gonna just kind of like bunch it up like this. Um, you can technically like roll it if you wanted to. You could just roll it forward just to like take off some of the height of it but i just like to bunch it up like this no special way as long as it looks a little like drapier in the front and so now you're going to place it in front of you of where you want it to lay on you so looking in my mirror right in front of me probably want it to lay right about here so then i'm just going to place it over my shoulders like this and make sure i like it the way it's looking and then i will take each side and wrap it around wrap the other side around and you have your first way to style the scarf so this is one of my favorite ways to style the blanket scarf i think it's super easy it looks really put together you look really bundled i love this style with just a simple sweater like i have on and jeans um, but i'm going to share with you guys some other outfit ideas with scarves um a lot of the times too i like to wear my hair up in like a messy bow with scarves so sometimes i feel like the scarves could be a lot with if you have like longer hair especially um but yeah really loving it another way to style it and it's super simple as well is just to tuck under you're going to take your pieces underneath and then just knot them you could just do like a simple knot underneath you don't even have to do much but if you didn't if you felt like the volume of the scarf was just a little too much for you um i think this kind of tones it down and streamlines it especially if you want to wear a jacket with your sweater now the next way to tie the scarf is something i kind of made up on my own i don't even know if this is a thing but it is just taking these like two like tails and then you're going to knot it in the front just to like give it a more like bundled look um especially if it's like colder out you knot it here and then you're just gonna do a little like where the opening is in the scarf you're just gonna place them in there and it kind of gives you a different look kind of a little bit more layering to the scarf again great with the jacket um, it keeps you a little bit more warm like this brings it up to your neck a little bit higher especially if it's cooler out so love this one as well so the next way i like to tie a blanket scarf is when you have it in the triangle here we're gonna fold it in about like thirds from here so i just like use my knee to help me um sometimes actually laying this out on the floor is probably the easiest but i want to be able to show you guys what i'm doing so taking it like this i folded it i think four times so then you could just place it around your neck so if you wanted this to be a little bit more versatile i like sometimes just looking really streamlined and if it's not as like chilly out but you want like a little bit of extra layer um this is pretty even with the coat um but yeah love this one too the next way to style it would just be to bring the last like third of the scarf up to here 
and then you could just wrap it like this for a more asymmetrical scarf i think this is super pretty and i just love like the drapiness of it so love this way as well and again another simple way it kind of just gives you um just a little bit different of a look and the next way is just to keep it the way it is but then you're going to again bring it around here and then wrap it around. And if you love the look of an infinity scarf, you just gotta make sure these points kind of stay tucked under. Um, I would tie the scarf at the end in a double knot. And then I would just bring that to the back. And then you have like another bundled look. Um, again, great with jackets or just with a sweater by itself. Just make sure that the back just tucks under that top layer and then it'll stay that way. But yes, love this one as well. You guys have to let me know which is your favorite so far. And if you need to, you could always feel free to just like fluff it out, make sure it's like fluffed out and kind of like more like that ruched look. You want it to look just not like one flat way, if that makes sense. So just make sure it stays fluffed and really bundled looking. Really love this one. And the next way to style the scarf is kind of like a little wrap. So. You're gonna take your scarf in your little triangle and then you're literally just gonna go like this, put it over your shoulders. Make sure I'm trying to look in the mirror that it's symmetrical. So one side's not going longer than the other. And this is really pretty. You could really see the plaid pattern on it this way. So you can either just keep it this way if you're just super chilly and you just wanna bundle up if you're like the pumpkin patch or something. I think this would be really pretty but you could also belt this if you wanted to to give you some more shape and this will like hold it in place as well it kind of acts like a little jacket so really love this it's like a shawl wrap i just think it is so pretty like this as well because it really just shows off that plaid pattern here is the next outfit idea so you could do a sweater dress for fall with a plaid scarf or really any print scarf if you have leopard solid anything like that um, i think it would look great but sweater dresses are perfect with scarves so it's another outfit idea for you guys and you could do over the knee boots cute short booties flats um, anything like that. So this is the scarf that I'm going to be styling. It's a rectangular scarf. It has like fringy detail at the bottom. I actually just recently got this one as well. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll have it linked below for you guys. I'm going to be sharing somewhat similar looks as the last scarf. I'm going to share with you guys just how it works with a scarf like this. Um, a little tip here is again, just to ruch it up in your hands, ruching it up from side to side, making sure that you have the same amount of scarf length at the each end if that makes sense so um this is kind of like your drape in the middle and then you want to ruche it together that's going to give you that puffy full look to the scarf again you don't want it to be flat um so this is just going to give you some volume so um ruching it and then again just looking at yourself in the mirror when you do this and again you can ruche it because you can see it's kind of like not how I like it. You're just gonna play around with it before you wrap it around. I find that that's the easiest. So I think that looks about right. And then again, we're just gonna take these pieces, wrap them around and with the fringe detailing, also make sure you cut, there's like long, like washing instructions on the um, sometimes on scarves. So make sure you cut that off cause it's not a good look with like white tags like coming out of your scarf. So make sure you do that. I just cut those off. So there you go. You have the perfectly wrapped scarf. It looks nice and full. You could like once in a while, just make sure it looks nice and full if you could just like pull apart like that. And yeah, it looks super cute and cozy. And again, I love it paired with a sweater dress. So here's another great way to style your scarf. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the scarf in half like this, and then you're gonna place it around you. And then you're going to just loop it through like this. And this is a great way, especially if you wanna wear this with, with a jacket, it kind of streamlines it um, as one. So I really like that. And again, it's not gonna like overpower you too much, but it still stays up pretty close to your neck to where you feel really warm with the scarf. And yeah, I just feel like this looks really nice, just traditional, stylish. And the last outfit idea and way to style a scarf that I'm gonna share with you guys today is with a cardigan. I have on this like lace trim cami. 
and then um, this like mini skirt. I love like mini skirts and like sweaters for fall, especially transitioning right now. Um, I think they're great. If you live where it doesn't get like super, super cold for fall, but you want to look fall inspired, then um, this is a great outfit option. So I love a good mini skirt. I have this lace trim cami. I'll link it all below for you guys because I believe it's also available. And then I just added a fun leopard headband because I'm like, why not? I'll mix the prints today. So I have this window pane scarf. This is so soft, you guys, and I will link it below again. Um, and it has like the fringe detail. So the last way I'm going to share with you guys is more like asymmetrical and just like a nice like wrap, like super chic look. So what I'm going to do is take um, about a third of the scarf is going to be here. And then the two thirds is out here. And then all you're literally going to do is again, make sure it's like ruched up. So you're just going to take it. The best way to start uh, like your scarf is to like pull it out like this and then have like you're holding each end and then just pull it behind and pinch it together and then just kind of like fluff the middle. Then you're just going to wrap it right over your back like this. And it's just super, super cute. Um, just gives you a little bit more of a textured look all layered up with the scarf, the cardigan. Um, I love it so much. And you could even then just for more traditional, if that's like not your thing, um, you could just pull even more and then just do like what I did with the same scarf before. I like the way it looks with this outfit too, tied like this. Um, and if you didn't want like all this fringe detailing, you could certainly just like knot it underneath and bundle it up and then just like hide the fringe I just kind of like put it in there and that's another way actually so you guys got a, a bonus way so you guys have to let me know which way I styled the scarf was your favorite leave that number down below since I numbered all of the looks it'll be the easiest way to link everything for you guys and all the scarves and outfit details will be linked in the description box for you guys and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you guys and let me know of any upcoming video requests that you have for me I'd love to hear from you guys so that is gonna be it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to consider hitting subscribe on the way out and and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.